lab discussions. Um, the purpose of this experiment is to classify and differentiate between different forms of the, um, of the uh, matter. The physical state, matter can be classified based on physical states. So it could be solid, liquid, or gas. Those are the three states of the matter that it's, uh, is being uh, you know, studied normally. Uh, plasma is another one, but we don't study often. Um, so we talk about solid you know, changing to liquid or gas by changing temperature. Uh, solid, the molecules or the particles are close to one another, limited space, very little space between the molecules, no space. And uh, you have for the liquid, molecules are moving around or ions, they are moving around and there's a space between them. And for the gas phase, you have a lot of space between the, the particles and they are moving really fast to change from solid to liquid, you apply heat to change from liquid to gas, you apply more heat because gas molecules, they want to stay gas. That means they are in constant uh, motion. Uh, the matter is also classified based on the composition. So we could have pure substances or mixtures. Pure substances are elements and compounds. These are pure substances, mixtures, it's the mixture of two elements, mixture of two compounds, or mixture of elements and compounds. Mixtures could be heterogeneous or homogeneous uh, mixture. What is the difference in heterogeneous mixture, like a, a garden salad is a heterogeneous mixture. You could see the, the component of the mixture. Um, like uh, oil and vinegar salad dressing, that's the heterogeneous mixture. When it comes to homogeneous mixture, uh, the different name for that, the other name for it is solution. So this, the mixture is uniform uh, throughout. So you, the two compounds should be miscible in one another. Like you have alcohol in water, that's homogeneous mixture. Air is a homogeneous mixture because it's a mixture of of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases, but is homogeneous, is uniform. Um, element, uh, we, you study the periodic table in second chapter of lecture or second unit of the lecture. When we talk about the elements, you are looking at the elements in periodic table. They are classified as metals or non-metals. Metals, they are shiny. They conduct electricity. Non-metals, um, they are uh, not shiny and they are good insulators. Uh, your elements, they are solid at room temperature except for mercury. Non-metals could be solid, liquid, or, um, or gas. Uh, we talked about the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture um, already, and you will do some experiment in this, uh, for this, uh, some experimental uh, procedure. You follow experimental procedure, and you would experience the difference between. We already talked in, in uh, experiment one about extensive and and intensive property. The other name is intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic is the same thing as the intensive uh, property. For uh, conversions like physical change, physical change, change in the state of the compound is considered as a physical change. Uh, the liquid can go to solid or can go to gas, depends on the temperature, how you change the temperature. You increase the temperature, it goes to gas. You decrease the temperature, if you, if you lower the temperature, it would freeze and it goes to, uh, to solid. So chemical properties are always uh, intensive. It doesn't matter, like if gasoline is, it is flammable, uh, five, milliliters of gasoline is flammable, a liter of gasoline is flammable. So it is intensive property. The other term you learn here is about endothermic and exothermic reaction. For endothermic, uh, heat is absorbed. So experimentally, you would see that the temperature of the chemical mixture or reaction mixture is going to drop because heat is being absorbed for that reaction from the environment, including 
the solution that you have the reaction going on. So if you have an aqueous solution, water is not the only one reacting. The ions that are inside that water is reacting. So you would see the change in temperature of the water. For exothermic reaction, heat is being released and the temperature of the surrounding, including the reaction mixture, would increase. So that's how we recognize it is exothermic or endothermic reaction. When you perform this experiment in the part one, you are going to get samples. And you, when you watch the video, you will see that you would classify them based on their physical appearance, if they are metal or non-metal. Then you would do mixing of the chemicals. With mixing of the chemicals, you would see that if they are going to be um, one layer or if the two chemicals are miscible would give one layer but if they are not miscible they would give two separate layer or two phases and uh, the is going to be classified as a heterogeneous mixture or not not soluble so you would try solubility of hexane and um, and naphthalene in water and you also use acetone uh, you are going to watch the video for that part. The uh, other reactions, anything that is, is reversible, it would be physical. Anything is not reversible, it would be uh, chemical. If heat is released, then it's going to be exothermic and heat is absorbed, it's going to be endothermic type, uh, type of the um, reaction. The best thing is to read the, the lab manual um, carefully because it has a lot more explanation than what I, I, uh, I talked about. And also, you have the stepwise procedure how to perform the experiment. So it's going to make it clear when you are watching the video, you would see how the experiment or what step of the experiment is done. And you have the, the data sheet for the, uh, for the experiments. That's end of experiment two, pre-lab discussion. That was